Hi guys, this is Cliff Greeno from the Classic Auto Show, and we have another story for you. Today we're here with Dave and Rosie. Hi guys. Hi. How you doing, Cliff? Fantastic. Good, How are good, you guys? Good. You enjoying the show so far? Having a good time. Awesome. Yeah. Well, I picked you guys out because you guys seem to have a really great story that we would love to have. Okay. So. Tell us a little bit about yourselves and how how you guys met in the first place. All right, well, Rosie, yeah. so we met when he was up in Alaska, hitchhiked up there. You hitchhiked to Alaska? Yeah. Well, what? Yes. Let me. I'll, I'll just Go throw ahead. it out real quick. Okay. Shoot. What I was, I was in. I was a rebellious kid. <laughs> and when I when I was in Lompoc, California, as a kid, yeah, 17, yeah. 18, um, the school school and I didn't get along too well, so they kicked me out. <laughs> and so. I went up, I knew this uh, girl that had gone up to Fairbanks, Alaska. Her folks were transferred up there okay. in the service. And so I thought, well, that would be a good place to get the heck out of Longboat and yeah, get up there. Yeah. So I hitchhiked on up there and I stopped it uh, in Washington and I did apple picking. I did some oh, d- d- delicious apples. Yeah. And for about two weeks and then I hitchhiked, hitchhiked on up through the Canadian border, I mean all the way through Canada, into Fairbanks and then that's where I met Rosie. Cool. After you saw the other girl. After I saw the other girl. <laughs> and we didn't get along very well after I was up there. Well, then it worked out just fine. Worked out good. <laughs> so, great. Yeah. So, uh, so you ended up there. What year was that then? That was, I went up there in 1964. Okay, all right. Late 64, yeah. in October. And so I got all settled in, and I and that summer of 65, yeah. I bumped and got that purse. I traded it for a... Um, for an old all-state Sears and Roebuck motorcycle. Oh my goodness! And I, tra- I saw this sitting out in the field, and I traded. The guy said, "Yeah, I'll take that all-state." So I said, "Well, oh, good. I want that hurts because the reason why I wanted it is because I was still surfing in my mind, even though I was in Fairbanks. Right? I was, yeah, yeah. I was from Refugio down there. We did uh, surfing in Refugio and Gaviota. Near Santa Barbara. Right, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And purses is what we used to use when I was a kid to put surfboards in. Of course, in. yeah, yeah. And I thought that'd be great when I go back down. Awesome. But in the meantime, I stayed up there for about two years and I took her to school yeah. once to, to, get, to register because right. she was a senior or a junior and I should I was out of school. Yeah. So I went into the school with her and I registered at the same time just because wow. I didn't have nothing to do. I was yeah. sitting beside her. Yeah, yeah. So I went ahead and just signed up and, and I graduated. That's where I got my awesome. training. Awesome. I Very actually cool. did my senior year and, and grad, but there I was old. I was 19. Well, then how did you come about this beautiful car? Because this is the story we also want to get. Well, that's right, yeah. So well, what happened was that, I, like I said, I bought that thing as a surf wagon and okay. I traded it for that Allstate motorcycle. Yeah. It came along and it had to sit for a long, for many, many years. And then finally, I just kept it for 52 years. Wow. I got it when I was 19. And so then what I did was just, uh, I started working on it yeah. after years gone by. And Rosie just got on there and stayed along with me all those years. Uh, so when did you restore it or turn it back into a hearse? Well, actually, it took me about um, 30 years before I had enough consumption and enough money because of support our kid and our right, family right, and all yeah, that. Yeah. I started getting a little extra cash. Yeah. So then I went ahead and had it painted and um, I dropped a Chevy 350 in there with a 350 automatic okay. and I got a Buick, Buick Wildcat rear end and all right. we can cruise down the freeway at 80 miles an hour. Wow. Anyway. Well, show, so, show us around the car a little so bit I here. I got it in the I mean yeah. a casket right. that I got about 30 years ago wow. that I put in there. It was from an insurance sale okay. where the insurance company paid the funeral parlor off and they took all the comp all the everything that was in the funeral parlor the insurance company and so they sold things off wow so that's that so, um, and these are this is an album that that uh, well, it's more, but yeah. we've kept ever since we've had the car oh that's cool so you have a full record of it then yeah full record from 1965 and you bought it in Alaska bought it in Fairbanks Alaska oh my gosh and you've had it since 65 yeah, there's me Changing a, a coil out of it <laughs> on the side of the road, probably on the side too, of the road. right? Yeah, yeah. On the Alaska Highway. Awesome. <laughs> and there's Rosie and I when we first drove it into Fairbanks. Wow, that's. I incredible. mean, into Lompoc. Into Sorry, Lompoc. Not yeah, into yeah. Lompoc. Because we came down the highway. That is incredible. Now we rinse it out. Yeah, I ran it out. Yeah, really. And this is when we first took it to Lompoc, and then this is. 40, this is uh, 2004, and that was in 1966, and the 
long pole record took a picture of us coming back. Fantastic. That's cool. But I'm sitting here doing all the talking. Rosie ought to be yeah. doing some talking. I feel like I'm... Well, show us your car. Give us a little tour of it. What did you do? Right, did you reupholster yeah. things? Uh, yeah, we reupholstered the interior. It used to have a red interior. Wow. Uh, and it was red velvet. And okay. we switched it over to this because it went better with the color. The color on the car originally was black or black. Okay, yeah, yeah. I love the blue and silver combo. It it's really looks combo. nice. It does, yeah. And then we take it to a few car shows here and there. And it's, yeah. It's a proud thing. Oh, sure. We ran it out on occasion yeah. to different uh, occasions that might come up. And oh. the biggest thing was to find parts for this thing. It's an Oldsmobile chassis yeah, yeah, yeah. on a Henny purse. <laughs> and the Henny builds coaches. Yeah, all right. So they buy their chassis from everybody. Yeah, yeah. They buy them from Packard, Cadillac, whatever. And wow. then they put their coach on there and then they call it a Henny. Okay, all right. So that makes it a... Let's take a walk around back all and right. see what it looks like back there. This is the back here. Wow. And the back of the casket. Uh, we put our chairs in there when yeah, we go somewhere. It and this folds down. Oh, so the you casket go. doesn't hit it. Yeah, right, right. When it comes out. And you get the full rollers and everything for the casket, just like normal, the lock that holds it in. Yep, it comes right out. Wow. And so, uh, and it's all functional. Nice, very cool. Makes it good. And this is a casket. And there's a, a real difference. One. There's a difference between a coffin and a casket. There is. Yeah, did you know that? No. <laughs> you got to tell us about that. A coffin <laughs> is made of wood, generally, and it's in a pear shape. It has a, you've seen them in the yeah, old yeah, right. frontier days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It has the, the for the shoulders. Yeah, it comes a right little wider for the shoulders to fit, right. Correct. That is a coffin. Okay. A casket is always a rectangular, like a refrigerator laying on its back. Uh -huh. And they're more square. That's yeah, a, yeah. That's a casket. Wow, there's some, learn something new every day, don't we? A little bit of knowledge. <laughs> like, like you're never going to use that again. That's so cool. Well, Dave, Rosie, thank you so yeah, much for uh, well, showing us you. your car. I'm sorry, Rosie, that no. I took up all the time. <laughs> Say something. No, that's, we just still have fun with it. That's right all now. that matters, right? right? Getting out there and having fun. Dave, right. thank you so much for showing all us right, the car. All right, good talking. And you. I hope you're enjoying the Classic Auto Show. Yeah, we are. It's great. And I hope to see you back here next year. Okay, we'll be here. Awesome. Thanks We're so much. Have We're a great gonna day. register early. There you go. Thanks so much. Have a wonderful day. Thanks, Cliff. Well, this is Cliff Greeno from the Classic Auto Show, and we'll see you again next time. Thanks, and talk to you soon.